Hey gang, it's been a few days since we've uh, had any current video popping up and I wanted to give you a quick little look at Dien Bien Phu. And I do believe that is not how you pronounce it correctly, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Uh, the Final Gamble. Uh, this is a Legion Games title. It's actually my first, I think it's my first Legion Games purchase, particularly one that I've, uh, I've picked up off the P500 or equivalent of P500 anyway, was on sale. Uh, under their P500 pricing. Uh, Kim Kanga is the game designer and he has done some other games that my friends have enjoyed. Uh, so I'm uh, looking forward to this. I'm play actually playing this on Saturday and while the sale finishes uh, September 30th, which I think will be, I think it's actually today if it's uh, I think that's today. I'm not even sure what day it is today. And so I I just ran out and I got it because it really does look like a fantastic game. And uh, I wanted to have a quick look at it and see what it was all about and read the rules before I played. And although I could have downloaded them, I thought it'd be more fun to actually have the game in my hands, of course, right? Lots of uh, cute little bits and pieces in here. This is telling us that they're super duper special counters that are cut carefully and have uh, important uh, easy punch thingies, so whatever. Okay, we'll look at that in a sec. We'll see what that's all about. Um, even more easy punch. Uh, some dice. Very detailed sequence of play, and according to my friend Pete, uh, if we follow this uh, accurately, we will have a fun time and not get too stressed out. Notice the page references on the side here, like that. Black and white rules. That was a little bit disappointing, given the overall quality of the production for everything else, but... Uh, very well spaced out, lots of diagrams in here. You're looking at uh, 24 pages of rules, including designer notes in the back, which is one, two, about three and a half pages in the scenario. So not a real heavy load. Now, good news is I did mention on my earlier post that there was some errata, and this is this is it here. And when it said uh, go and download the living rules, I thought, oh, here we go again. It's going to be... Uh, Another one of these small company deals where there's a whole bunch of errata, but this is it. Kim has done a fantastic job of uh, playtesting this, and uh, so whoever his playtesters are, congratulations, you're a key part of the production process. Really nice box too, uh, good, solid, and uh, nice, uh, nice finish on it. Uh, great artwork on the back, love it. Um, and the scale, uh, not the scale, but the complexity level is medium uh, for uh, based on Legion Games uh, complexity ratings. And uh, it has a medium to high solitaire suitability. Here is a bug flying around the front of my screen. Scenario setup card. I have no idea what all this does or how it works. Love all the unit icons on the sides here. Very cool. This is uh, an entrenchment uh, trench zoning map to help the VC and Viet Minh plan their uh, plan their approaches, no doubt. Lots of nice. This cardstock has got a decent thickness, and it's got a uh, a nice coating on it that feels like it will be waterproof. Uh, Viet Minh combat tables, the French combat tables, obviously two very different. Uh, modes of combat for both sides uh, single side printed now the counters uh, there's a counter sheet in here that shows you what all the different uh, counters are so you can keep track of them all I think this is a really nice feature that all game companies should include uh, the price of this is nominal we're talking pennies and uh, it is a uh, valuable asset. Now, this is probably a great way to have a look at the, the counters, actually. We can have a little zoom in on them. I mean, the artwork on these is really quite lovely. A nice contrast. The numbers are big and easy to read. And in a font that's appealing to the eye. Uh, I love that you can tell this is the French, uh, the French food. There's the bread and wine. Uh, here's the Viet Minh counters. I'll try and get them in there for you a little bit. Zoom in a little. You can see them there. Airstrikes. 
Oh, look at that artwork there. That's pretty cool. With the aeroplane coming in at an angle. Wheels down, no less. Tanks. And the hapless Thai companies. And then all more ammo tracking and loss tracking, cadre level units, where the units become shaken or isolated, artillery strikes. There's a lot of factors that go into this game that will make it uh, particularly interesting. Uh, here's here's the counters. Let's see. So let's see what all the fuss is about uh, with the counters because they're going to fall out apparently. So I'm going to leave the back of the shrink wrap on. So there's a couple of different sheets in here. And you can already see this starting to pop up here. So if I can get just this one sheet up. And there you go. Look at that. Now, the counters are... I would call them standard thickness. They are really well cut. I, I like the, the sharp corners on this. I'm probably going to clip these. Is my guess. They have a, a bit of a sheen to them. And the way they're popping out of here, I'm probably not going to coat them with uh, the Krylon uh, kind of grippy stuff. They're a little bit slick, but they'll be okay. I don't think you get a lot of big stacks in these this game, so it'll uh, it'll be okay. It won't cause a problem. Uh, so there we go. They're the counters. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pick them up and move them all around, but you can see how easily they pop out of there. So not sure what the mechanism is for doing that, but it's extremely well done. So uh, now actually some of these cuts here. I'm wondering up here. I oh, know that's fine. Look at that. Okay, fantastic. Now the map. Real quick, since we're rambling on to seven minutes, I'm not going to spend too much time on the map, but the map has uh, an enormous number of uh, tables and displays on it, the game track and uh, terrain effects charts, of course, and barrage, and ammo tracks, and supply tracks, and uh, airdrop charts, and all sorts of the morale. And, and these are all of these factors uh, intertwined with each other and will will drive what each side can do, uh, as you would imagine. Right? I'm not telling you anything you, you can't imagine. But how it plays, according to my buddy, uh, Pete, uh, is uh, extremely well. So we'll see. We'll have this uh, set up Saturday. I'll have a report up probably Sunday or Monday, and we'll, we'll uh, give you the the background and the details on how everything all works. Later.